I don't know. Biblically accurate angel. So if I'm being honest, I really don't know anything about fashion, but that will not stop me. So today I'm back again with Star Rail, and I'll be fit checking random characters once again. So this will be my second Star Rail video because the first one did really well and y'all really enjoyed it and y'all really supported it. So I had to come and do it again. A lot of you guys said that some of my assumptions about the character were right on the nose. Um, I doubt I can do that again. Highly doubt I can do that again. <laughs> Highly doubt. I truly doubt. Um, but once again, I do not know these characters. I don't play this game. I don't plan on playing the game anytime soon. So feel free to tell me about the characters in the video. Um, and let's just jump in and see what we're working with. Okay, first one. Right off the bat, I gotta say, love it. <laughs> already, she might be my favorite. She might be my favorite already. God, this, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. So fancy. And you know, I, purple and blue. Ooh. It just gives nighttime. I don't know. Nighttime. Nightlife. Um, she's giving me businesswoman. Uh, city girl. Rich girl. Everybody knows her. You know, I don't I don't know how expensive Jade is. You know, the, the green gem. But she has quite a few Jade pieces on her. On her wrist. Around her neck. Um, this it's like behind her. Like right behind her near her um her hip. I wonder how expensive Jade is. Yeah, she just looks like she runs things. Like if she walks into a room, she always has bodyguards around her. I don't, I don't have a favorite part of the outfit. I think I literally love the whole thing. I don't know, it's giving, like I said, nighttime, midnight. Yeah, very pretty. There are some parts of her design that remind me of a butterfly, like her dress, this thing on her shoulder, um, the bow on her hat. Then she also has that big bird feather. So I'm wondering, I don't know. Does she have something to do with birds? I don't know, this design is just so cute. I just love the colors. I love the colors. Tell me about her. <laughs> She's so pretty. She passes, obviously. What? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, ephemeral. Ephemeral? Ephemeral. Yeah. He's beautiful. <laughs> that dragon's really cool. Is it made of water? A crescent moon above a flower. Hmm. I love the colors game. A <laughs> big fan of this bluish, greenish, tealish color. I love it, I love it. He got that flower design around his waist. And this pattern is pretty, but it also reminds me of like scales of a dragon. <laughs> okay, um, moon, flower, dragon. There's definitely some lore here. Moon, flower, dragon. Maybe, maybe he's an ancient dragon that you can only meet during a crescent moon night in a field of flowers that can only be found on the island in the middle of the water. Something like that, I don't know. What's his lore? <laughs> What's up with the moon and flower? What's going on? Why is he so pretty? Yeah, I like him a lot. He passes. Um, what's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, a caged, a caged bird. A caged so songbird. A caged songbird. Yeah, she definitely has a music concept. Um, I mean, she's singing at me, obviously. But she looks like an angel. I mean, she has the halo. And wings coming from her neck, back of the head. Yeah, very angelic. Um, I see a music note. I see stars, uh, gem, uh, crystals, stars, something like that. Um, a crescent moon, right where that music note is. I love this. She passes. And her cage is really cool. I mean, as cool as a cage can get. <laughs> I'm trying to say her cage. Her cage kind of looks like um, a record player with the needle you know, scratching the disc. Um, something went down this cage, by the way. 
sheets of music on the ground, broken pearl necklace. Why are her shoes different? What? I, mm, what, what is that? Does it open up? What, is it a weapon? Is it a gun inside? Like, what is it? Anyway, he looks like he protects his kingdom or something. He looks like a guard, I'll say. Um, and just looking at him, he kind of reminds me of a lion or wolf. Because I, uh, I don't know where that fur is coming from, but from this angle, it looks like a tail. Don't think it is, but it looks like a tail. He also just has fur on him, like around his neck. I'm gonna go wolf. I'm gonna go wolf. He reminds me of a wolf. Um, he dresses really warm. I wonder, does it snow where he is? And those blue crystals on him remind me of ice. Or maybe he just has an ice ability. I don't know. Um, yeah, he looks like a royal guard, a royal knight, something in that realm. I don't know. He passes because I really love that shade of blue. It's so pretty. So pretty. He passes. What is that? It's like an aurora. Okay, this guy also has the wings coming from his neck or back of the head. Like the other girl from before. Are they related? Or same species? <laughs> um, I don't know. He looks angelic. Very pretty. And complicated. There's a lot of stuff I can't interpret. So I'll just I'll just name the stuff I notice. The first thing I see is the thorny vines in this picture. They're like holding him down or pulling him down from the sky, from the clouds. And those same vines are on his clothing design as well. On his jacket, on his sleeves. So it's definitely intertwined with his character. In this shape, it kind of reminds me of an eye. And it also appears quite a bit around him. So I see a lot of eyes and I see a lot of vines on him. Maybe he's being watched constantly. I don't know. Or maybe he's just trapped in a bad situation. Yeah, this image says a lot. <laughs> but I don't play the game, so I can't connect it to anything. I, I don't know. Anyway, his character looks very angelic. A little bit religious. Um, I don't know. If we're going with the religious thing, then yeah, his character is definitely giving me a fallen angel. <sighs> I don't know. A biblically accurate angel. He passes. I like him. Tell me his lore, because... No, I, I mean, I, uh, yeah. Okay, last one. She is so colorful. So colorful. And more on the modern side, I'll say. She's giving me a little ninja. A lot ninja. <laughs> Actually, a lot ninja. In street fashion. Street fashion. She's got a paint concept going on. Spray paint, I should say. she got the spray can on her hip. Blue paint on her thigh. She has horns on her hat like an Oni. She looks fun, a little wild, but I, I run the streets with her until we get arrested. I, mm, I, yeah. And I don't know what this is behind her, but it's cool because it looks like graffiti. Spray paint, graffiti. She passes. Okay, I'm done. Um, That was fun, 10 out of 10, everyone passes. My favorite design was probably the first girl. It was just so pretty. And I really think it embodied Midnight. So she was my favorite design. But character-wise, I'm more curious about these two. Like I said, they look like they have lore. <laughs> Especially the last guy. But both of them. I'm very curious about their lore. Who are they? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Who are these people? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.